Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Jamaica's Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith says her campaign for Commonwealth Secretary General this month is being funded entirely by the Jamaican taxpayer. Mrs. Johnson-Smith gave the update following calls by commentators for a full report on the expenses she's incurred. Four persons were shot dead on Sunday night along Railway Lane in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The persons have been identified as 21-year-old Nicardo Moore, otherwise called Blacks, 21-year-old Kirk Mikey Barrett, 34-year-old Desmond Pepita Bloomfield, and 38-year-old Horace Letman. The Discovery Bay All Age School in St. Anne is in mourning following the death of teacher Delores McFarlane following a brief battle with cancer. The death comes as one of Miss McFarlane's children gets ready to sit the primary exit profile test for Grade 5 students this week. Overseas British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has won the backing of a majority of Conservative members of Parliament in a confidence vote despite a significant revolt against his leadership. Mr Johnson won 59% of the vote, meaning he's now immune from a Conservative leadership challenge for a year. In sports, the NBA Finals are now tied after the Golden State Warriors turned a close game into a rout with a third-quarter masterpiece to win Game 2 of 7, 107-88 over the Boston Celtics. Stephen Curry led the way for the Warriors with 29 points on Sunday night. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.51, the British pound sterling for $194.58, and the Canadian dollar for $125.03. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be partly cloudy, windy and hazy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across sections of western parishes. And that's it for the Greener Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.